Javier Builds a Bridge, Chapter 4, Complications. I placed two of the blocks I had grabbed from Luisa's room a few inches apart on the table. Then I laid another block across the gap between them. See? The new bridge could be a plank of wood or a tree trunk. I imagined myself walking across the bridge. It would be stable. It wouldn't bounce around. Joe was still scratching his head. That's a great start. Beam bridges like that are nice and simple, he said. A stiff board will help keep the bridge from wobbling when your weight pushes down on just one side. Joe, said Mama, that's a wide crossing. Wouldn't you need a few boards to cross the stream? Then you'd have to build supports right into the riverbed. That's a lot of work and maintenance. Your Mama might be right, Joe said. The length that a bridge can go without anything holding it up in the middle is called the span. The stream is so wide that a beam bridge might need supports, we call those piers, to go all the way across the water. My shoulders sagged. Joe said, don't worry, Javier. This is what I go through all the time when I start a new project at work. We're asking questions about how to solve the problem. It's the first step of the engineering design process. He winked. This is how we engineers design things, you know? Well, I'm sure that between you and Joe, you'll think of something, Javi, Abuelito said. That's right. I'm sure of it, agreed Abuelita. Mama still looked skeptical, but she nodded too. How about? If you think of some more questions on your own, Joe said, figure out what you already know about bridges you've seen, how you think they might work, and how you can use that to solve our engineering problem. Then move on to the next step, imagining lots of different ideas. When you have a good list, figure out which idea you think will work best. Come up with a simple plan, and then Mama and I will help you build the bridge. Then we will probably need to make some improvements to make sure the bridge is safe and sturdy as can be. I picked up the smooth block and rubbed it in my hand. Thanks to that block, I, I'd be able to go to my fort after all.